Hi, it's Bumble. Welcome back to my channel. You may have noticed something a little different here. So, let me start from the beginning. Um, I guess sort of beginning. This is, I guess, a test video slash YouTuber thing. I don't know. Um, like, when I was going to start this channel before I even started it, um, also, I'm not even looking at OBS to see, like, what the face is doing right now, so I hope it's not doing anything weird. Uh, yeah, before I started this channel, I thought, man, it'd be cool to, like, you know, be a VTuber to set. I mean, not like a VTuber is, like, the kind that works for a company or whatever, but just, like, oh, you know, you have a silly little anime, um, uh, avatar thing or whatever. And then Dumblebee Gnome, I didn't come up with that name. One of the many uh, nicknames I got from my sibling. The Bumblebee part I know is because like, I had this black and yellow flannel. Gnome part, I still have no idea where that came from. Anyway, I've been using that as like an online username and stuff for all kinds of things for years. And you know, I came up with a little MS Paint doodle of Bumble, the character. I guess Bumblebee Gnome, I don't know. Um, and then, like, sometime last year, I don't remember what month, um, I made the VTuber model thing in Vroy. Well, it wasn't going to be, like, a VTuber model. It was just, like, a, just for fun. But the cool thing is, I didn't delete it or anything. I just kept it on the computer. I deleted Vroy Studio because I didn't use it anymore. I was like, what's the point? Anyway, uh, long story short, that's been sitting on my computer for months now. I was never going to do anything with it. And then today I went to, oh gosh, what store was it? Um, big Five, I think. One of those like, big sports stores. I didn't even need to buy anything. I was just there with my mom. Um, and then I was just, I looked over at a shelf that was like near wherever the section is where you like buy stuff. Um, and I saw they had a little camera, like a little webcam. Now let me just get this away from my mouth. Um, yeah, they had a little webcam thing. It was on clearance, it was like $12. I mean, my first thought was actually, okay, I could use this for my channel. What the hell, I'll just buy this and see if it works. I thought even if this didn't work as like a VTuber thing, you know, I'd have a better camera. The, the camera I have, I, cur I used to have, I mean, um, it's like really tiny, it wasn't able to pop up, you couldn't really use it for anything. I used it maybe like once and then put it in a drawer. Now with this one, I have it like popped up, it's plugged in in the back so I could still have my headset. Anyway, as soon as I got it, I'm like, okay, I gotta try doing the VTuber thing like I want. I actually can. I mean, you can without a camera. I've heard that it's harder, you might be able to. And then I also know people do that thing, which I have considered for a while, where they use like a little 2D drawing or something, and have that animated. But I was like, eh, it's not going to look as cool, I'll have to draw all this stuff for it, I just don't have the time. And luckily, like I said, I saved the little VTuber model. Anyway, um, once I decided, okay, I'm going to try this out, because I decided all this shit today, actually. Um, like, I'm not kidding, I bought the camera when I got picked up from school came home, worked on some stuff a little bit, but then mostly did this. I re-downloaded VRoid Studio and found some cool stuff. This is the model. I just, that's why I have it on screen. Just wanted to show it. Um, originally had that, like, kind of Alice in Wonderland looking dress. You know, there's, like, preset clothes and things that are in here. You can't, like, import clothes, really. You can't, like, design things in Blender. I tried Blender once. Uh, never again. Um, Anyway, then I read on a Reddit post, because that's apparently where you can get any answers for anything, from what I've learned. Uh, there's like a website thing called Booth, which is like part of Evoid Studio or something, and people make clothes and other stuff on there. Like the shoes and the little thing, and the little like anklet thing, and then the hands, bracelet thingies. Um, those are all just normal stuff that was on Vroid Studio. And then, like, the little sunflower, the dress, and the butterfly things were all stuff I found on Booth. I was surprised the little sunflower 
hair thing and the dress weren't like, you'd think they would be part of the same set or whatever, but no. I was even trying to go for a sunflower thing. Like, I was looking for like fairy type clothing because there's no way in hell I was going to go and blunder and recreate the outfit I came up with originally for this character. Anyway, yeah, I s there was like a sunflower, there was like a flower crown, because there's some really cool stuff, but you have to pay for most of it. But all of this is free. I wasn't going to, you know, I already bought the camera. I wasn't going to buy stuff for the model, too. Um, but yeah, the sunflower, and I thought, you know, that kind of fits better. I was going to go with like a cottage core vibe. I think going with like a flower thing still works, so yeah, that, and then I saw the dress and I'm like, okay, I have to pair them together. I got lucky with these little bracelet things, they even have like the leaf, I think that's cool. It was originally part of some outfit where it was like, because they added a bunch of outfits to this recently since last time I used it, where it's like, um, uh, there's some like candy, it was a lot of cute stuff, but it didn't match this character design I was going for, and I tried to keep, like, nature themed vibe stuff, and then the butterfly thing was, like, something I got lucky with that I just happened to stumble on on Booth, and I'm like, of course I gotta use this as the perfect vibe. I wanted to find more stuff that matched the sort of butterfly shoe vibe I got going on here, but I couldn't find anything, so we went with this, and, you know, I picked the yellow and brown, because, well, I don't have the, um, uh, what was it? The little drawing, you know, the overlay I usually have. I have that off. I have to edit it now. Um, because I had the little bumble drawing that was in, like, the right corner. But, you know, it had, like, oh yeah, you can't see my hands. I'd have to buy, like, a separate thing if you wanted to see my hands. Which is a shame. I talk a lot with my hands. Um, she had, like, the white sh puffy shirt thing, the brown skirt, and the yellow, like, cloak thing was the original outfit, so I thought, okay, I might as well just go with the yellow-brown theming that I had. It isn't as cottage y but I mean, but it was more like, I don't know, goblin-looking than what I was going for, but this works. It's kind of weird, she looked a little too much like a fairy, like you see the design, you might think, oh, like a flower fairy, but you know what, the colors are right for like the bee vibe, and she's not a fairy. One, one of my friends, I was talking about that. She's like, oh, your little bee fairy character, and I'm like, she's not a fairy, she's just a bee. Because, you know, I'm trying to keep it the bumblebee gnome thing. Unfortunately, there's, like, no gnome-related anything on Booth, so I couldn't get the hat. There was, like, little antenna things, but those cost money, and I didn't want to buy anything. And the wings I saw are mostly, like, angel wings, and there was, like, cyber wings or something. And I tried the cyber wings out, but they look too weird with the rest of the design. So she doesn't have anything bee and gnome related. I was kind of sad. That almost made me feel kind of tempted to like make her either look more like myself or make like a new character. Because I wasn't really feeling it the past few months with the bumblebee gnome branding character. But you know what? I'm really attached to the name Bumble. I don't know why. I'm just going the hi, it's Bumble or whatever. I like. I genuinely like doing that. I've considered like, oh yeah, I'm Bumble now. Um, and I use Bumblebee known for like so many memes for things. I'm like, I can't change the branding now. So I thought, you know, even without the camera, I was thinking of changing things around. And before that, I entered the picture of like, man, I either gotta do something with this character to make me like her more or change characters. I, I drew a few designs. Um, one of them was like a mermaid, and the other one sort of looked like a child, and then I was like, wait, no, I kind of curse a lot. Maybe I shouldn't have a cute chibi character, because I considered that. Luckily, I am very short in real life anyway, and the character is supposed to be small, because she's like a bee, so it worked. Um, so yeah, it doesn't have the bee vibes I was going for, but I like it, and I kind of just spoof things up today and trying to go for a certain vibe. I was so close to changing the eyes like 10 minutes ago. I was going to make them blue, but I thought, you know, like the blonde hair and the brown eyes isn't like part of the bee thing or to keep with the theming. It's just, I don't know. I thought the blonde braids would be cute for this character. And then literally the only reason she has brown eyes because I thought, you know, back when I had the other design, um, what if I cosplay the character someday? Because I have brown eyes, 
and I know color contacts are a thing, but I hate literally anything inside my eyes, whether it's, that's why I don't wear makeup, so that's why I kept your eyes blue. You know what, now that I look at it, I think it kind of fits, like, even if you don't look at the clothes and you just look at the face, I think, like, the blonde hair, the light-colored brown eyes, I think that's a nice vibe, I'm gonna stick with that for this character. Uh, but I'm happy with how she came out with... I kind of wish I kept... I used to have, like, an outline. Like, when you usually use... Like, you first make a model on here with the studio, they have, like, a black outline, but I thought it made her look too, too cartoony. But now that I'm looking at her, it's like, where's the shoulders? <laughs> but other than that, like... Oh, and the nose. There is a nose. That's the other reason I'm showing on here, to show stuff that isn't, like in the desktop thing, which I don't know if I'll go look at that later, um, to see how this turned out. This is like a little test video anyway. I'm also not really looking at the camera, I'm looking at the screen, and the camera's like under the screen, so if the eyes look like they're looking up all the time, I'm looking weird. That's why. Um, but yeah, she has like the little nose, but you can't obviously see it from the front. I mean, I didn't, oh, it doesn't let me zoom in. I didn't know what to do with the mouth. I also don't know if you guys can see the mouth either. Um, it was originally like an ooh mouth, you know, like the little cat mouth thing. Because um, that's what I had the drawing. But on the model, it looked kind of gross. And didn't have teeth inside, because I think teeth smiling is weird. But then it made her look like she had a baby mouth, like a toddler mouth that doesn't have teeth yet. So we added some, I had some teeth, made the lips a little more shiny. Um, and then I added the blush, just because I thought... You know, the only features on the face are the eyes and the eyebrows. You can kind of barely see the mouth, so I thought, add a little color. Why not? Um, but yeah, the face I'm okay with. I just wish the, um, the braids were a little more visible. If there was a way I could, like, put them over the shoulders. Because that's kind of how I wear braids, um, back when my hair was long enough. Just kind of, like, hanging, you know, in front of everything. Um, but they're there. They're in the back. They're nice little braids, whatever. And I found this one other outfit on Booth, because I had the dress, I had everything going, and I'm like, what do I do with the arms and the shoulders? And there was this butterfly, it had butterflies on, and it was brown, it was a little jacket, and I thought that would be cute. And then I messed up trying to import it, and I overload it with some default item and screwed the whole thing up. I mean, I already exported this as a VRM which is how I'm able to use it in OBS. So, I don't, I'm probably not gonna make any more changes to this character. I think I'm fine with it. I mean, let me just look at OBS right now. Yeah, I mean, with the shoulders, it's fine. You can like, see where the arms are. Man, you can't see like, any of the dress in here. That's so disappointing. Might have to see if I can play around with that. Also, the head gets like, cut off. That's weird. Oh, I'm not moving my eyebrows, that's so weird. I need to just not look at the face while recording, then I'm end up making stupid faces. What I don't like about it, though, is that, like, I've noticed if I make an expression, and I'm not looking at it right now, if I make an expression, the expression stays on the face for, like, a solid two seconds or so, or, like, a bit longer than me making the expression, so it's kind of weird. I don't know. Anyway, I guess I'll show up some little details from this. Let's see, we got, yeah, I got the little flower, got the face. I think it turned out okay. It's kind of not as anime as I'd want, but that's fine. Not really sure if I'm a fan of the necklace, but I was going with the default stuff. I want to see if I can maybe add earrings. I used to wear earrings a lot. Um, I always liked them. They'd kind of be hard to see through the hair, but I think they'd be cute anyway. I bookmarked something that was like free earrings that looked like pearls. That might be cute. We got the little bracelet things with, that's supposed to be a mint leaf. But it matches the vibe. We got Lucky with those being the default. And we got the dress. It's just, I don't, I get the brown having that texture for the flower. But it kind of looks weird. But yeah, it's backless. And you got the skirt. I really like the skirt. It's like a very fairy vibe thing, huh, of having a skirt made of flower petals. I mean, the character's not a fairy, but it has, like, 
the similar vibes, I guess. And the inklet, I don't know how that got to stay on or whatever. When I took off the rest of the outfit it's from, it was this pink and green dress. I was so tempted, but it didn't match the B vibe for me. And the shoes are just like a default thing. I'm so glad they added them. They look really cute. I like the um the golden leaves. I know the green, like for the shoes, doesn't match with everything else. I don't care. I'm not changing the shoes. Well, actually, I <coughs> my voice is dying. Um, yeah, I originally had this character barefoot. And I was going to keep it that way, because I imagine, you know, she's a bee, she flies around all the time. Why would she need shoes? I don't know, it gives a more nature vibe. But, um, then I saw the shoes. There, there's no way. You can look at how cute these shoes are and tell me, get rid of the shoes, Bumble. Like, no. I mean, plus you can't see the shoes in the model anyway, it's fine. They're just here. I just know that they exist. It also means there's no point in me adding the butterflies, but, oh, that's adorable. Kind of looks like a tattoo. I like that, actually. I've actually thought about, I don't know, getting a tattoo at IRL. It wouldn't be on the legs, so though. It would probably be, like, somewhere on the arm. You can't see my mouse, I'm assuming, but, like, on the arm somewhere, like, upper near the shoulder. I do have a lot of, hold on, I'm going to look at my shoulder. I have like some little birthmarks though that might get in the way. I think if I had a tattoo though, definitely be something Alice in Wonderland related. I've always liked Alice, like as a character and just this whole thing of like this girl who ends up <laughs> in a world that doesn't make sense. It's kind of what the world feels like, honestly. So, you know, it's a vibe. I've even started a um started a Pinterest board that's just like, you know, potential ideas and things, but we'll see. That's not happening anytime soon. But yeah, anyway, this went on longer than I wanted, and I still have to record a musical review after this, uh, bar none. Anyway, um, but yeah, I'm super excited this worked. I honestly didn't think when I tried this out. I followed some video. If anyone else wants to, like, do this or whatever, I mean, using Vvoid and OBS, I could put the video that I used in the description, like, if people are interested, I can, like, edit that in later, or, like, add that in, I'm not editing this, but yeah, this is, I know people call it, like, a VTuber show, because I think it's kind of silly, I didn't want this, you know, I, I'm kind of, like, not a very showy person in that sense, but I do really like the model, and this is a thing I'm doing, and you guys are never going to see the bottom of the model, which is my favorite part of just the skirt and everything. It's not going to show up on OBS, and it kills me, but uh, I just wanted to show it, and I mean, it won't probably be in every video, because I pre-recorded, like, months in advance for, like, all the Switch stuff, so it's going to be, like, the things in the present are going to have this, if I can, like, actually plug in the camera every time and get everything perfect. So here's the annoying thing. Uh, the lighting in my room is awful if I don't have sunlight in here. Like, there's only two bulbs that are working on the fan. I actually had to, because I had this camera originally just on top of the computer, but there's no light there. I had to turn on a desk lamp just for there to be light on the camera so I can see me. And it took like three or four tries to get the camera to notice me, so that was a bit spooky. Um, so the camera's a bit of a pain with the Vs, because uh, I'm using, okay, all the stuff I'm using right now, like to do all this, I got Vivo, I don't need Vivo to open right now, I could just close out of it. Yeah, let's just close out of it, it's fine. But yeah, Vivo Studio, that's what I used to make the model. And then we got um, OBS, of course, that's to record everything. Oh yeah, it doesn't respond a lot. It's really annoying for Vvoid. Um, I use a program called Voxel for the voice changer thing that I use all the time. Most of the time. If I can't use my headset, then it's just my regular voice. I mean, the pitch that I have it on or whatever, 
as I'm listening to myself talk, it is like my regular voice, but slightly higher. Actually, quite a bit higher. I didn't want it so high where it sounded like an annoying high-pitched character. I wanted it to still sound like semi-natural. As long as I didn't sound like my own voice, I'm fine with it. Cause, like, when I talk normally as I'm listening to myself, it's fine. It's whatever. It's a little deeper than I like, but whatever. Um, to my natural voice, but when I hear myself in a recording, I want to just not have the ability to hear it. <laughs> because I hate how I sound recorded. Even when I was a kid, I just couldn't stand it. Um, so that's why I was like, okay, I'm going to start a YouTube channel. I have to find something to change my voice. Because I edit every once in a while, and then I have to hear myself in the edit, and I'm like, ugh, so I don't like that. So then I have OBS as well for recording, like I said, and then I have VC face, which is detecting everything, and then I have the camera, and that's like pretty much about it. And I'm just looking at OBS, this is so weird. By the way, I noticed that the head's tilted right now. I am not tilting my head. Like, the camera's positioned up. My head is literally straight, but for some reason, um, the model is constantly tilted to the right like that. Let me see. If I tilt my head to the left, then it straightens out, but that's kind of uncomfortable. So, I don't like that. But anyway, yeah. That's, oh, I'm realizing it's making an expression. I'm not making an expression, but the eyes are like slightly down for some reason. That's really creepy. Does this make sense that I'm like physically tired? That's so weird. Anyway, um, oh, and the expressions change too much. This thing is way too sensitive. I'm gonna have to fix this. Cause here's the thing, when I lift the eyebrows, like here, I'll show you. Wait, it's not. Yeah, it makes that face. And lowering them is supposed to be angry. That's like the easiest one. I like that. It's kind of cute. And then with smiling. It kind of lowers the eyes like that. But I'm not smiling right now, so... See, I didn't even lower my eyebrows, and it still did that. The expressions are too... Okay, when I get nervous, I guess I lower my eyebrows and it messes things up. Um, so yeah, the emotions are very, like a little too finicky with how it detects stuff. I'm not making all these faces right now. <laughs> well, except that. That was a giggle. That was a smile. Um, so I'll have to mess with it. Like I said, it's a test, whatever. Uh, but yeah, this will be mostly a future thing. Not in the pre-recorded stuff. I mean, you'll not be able to tell if it's pre-recorded or not, but I'll try and use this as much as I can. I'm very excited. This was, like, the big goal for me with, I don't know, starting a channel of, like, I want to make a model, do this stuff. Also, because, um, I wanted to, like, react to things, too. Like, a video I have, but I haven't posted because I don't know where to post it is I watched this ASMR video that was for the B movie, like the entire length of the B movie, but it didn't have me on the screen at all. I didn't talk that much, and the screen was like my overlay and then the video, and I thought, oh man, am I going to get in trouble with that? But I want to mostly post it because the ASMR version of the B movie is so good. I also thought reacting to movies would be cool as well, but... Let me give it OBS for a second. I'm just rambling at this point. You can click off if you want. <laughs> um, with movies, you know, that's copyright. I've seen some people, will sh like, I guess they watch the movie, they edit it somehow, and then only show a few things on screen, but sometimes they can do audio too, so I don't know how that would work. Um, but I think reacting to, like, short videos with like a face or something on the screen from what I've noticed or like a short little movie or whatever or something that's not very popular tends to be perfectly fine like I notice they don't have to edit anything they just 
they're just able to react to it. And I mean, I don't have my face in here, obviously. The camera, I tested it, does work as a regular camera. But, you know, I don't want to show my face. I like the little character I have. But yeah, maybe I could react to stuff like this. Hopefully not get copyrighted. Um, and, yeah, I guess that's it. I don't know, the other thing I'm wondering too, is there some games I play like Project Diva where I don't have my headset plugged in for the mic? So I don't know if I'd be able to have like the little avatar up. Hopefully. I do not want to have Project Diva on the headset only because it would blast in the headset because I need to hear it for the volume. You wouldn't be able to hear my audio or my commentary at all anyway and my ears would die after a single session. So, because that's the thing with the VC. It's like, you need to have the camera in, you need to have some kind of mic, or otherwise it literally doesn't let you do anything, so. <sighs> I'm tired, it's 10.30. But yeah, that's the little, yay, I can finally be a little VTuber or whatever. Um, but yeah, cool. That's about it, right? I don't know how to end this, so, bye. <laughs>